This is Karen, and I'm glad you're joining me at Joshua Tree National Park. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe so other people can find it too. Thank you. I'm personally located in Southern California, and I wanted to take some time this year to go visit different areas around Southern California that were within an hour or two of me. So we decided to try Joshua Tree National Park, approximately two hours from our location in Temecula. Joshua Tree encompasses over 800,000 acres and spans from 900 foot elevation to over 5,000 feet above sea level. It is a super diverse park filled with a variety of different types of geology, plant life, animal life. It was stunning. The yellow roads you see indicated were the areas that we actually went and drove around on. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see the yellow dot with the red circle. That shows the hotel that we stayed at because we knew we were gonna be out late and didn't wanna have middle of the night driving to get home. We started at the Oasis Visitor Center, which is on the east side. We went at the end of September of 2022 in order to be able to take advantage of the new moon and the dark sky night. There was an astronomy event at the Sky's the Limit area just outside the park. We expected it to be a madhouse, but it was just fine. Where we did run into problems was as we drove into the park, it was raining. And when I say raining, we're talking flash flood style raining coming down in buckets. It was clear skies one minute and then a complete deluge for a good 15 to 20 minutes as we were driving into the park. We weren't sure if we actually wanted to continue with this because we were like, if there's clouds above with rain in them, we're not gonna see the dark sky, it's not gonna work out, but we forged ahead. We continued south until we got to the Arch Rock white tank area, but it was still raining super hard, so we opted to not get out of the vehicle. We continued driving through the park and it started clearing up, so we made the decision to go on the sandy road toward Pine City. We drove out and back on that road as opposed to doing the one way all the way through. You can see how beautiful those flatlands were along that sandy road. The topography there is just stunning with the Joshua trees, which is what you see there in the center and the rock formations in the back. We continued to drive back from there through Oyster Bar, Hall of Horrors, and Cap Rock, ending up at the Echo T area. There we got out, did some hiking, just a smattering of rain, but fairly open skies. Had fun pretending we were Joshua trees and just got to take in just the beauty of the area. At about this point, it was 4, 4.30 in the afternoon and the sun was just starting to think about going down. So we were treated to an absolute delight of watching the desert sky just absolutely shift and change. We had hiked up to this one point where we could see over to the valley on this one side and then another valley on the other side. It was remarkable just to see how different each side of the canyon was. We also got to see evidence of the fire damage to the different Joshua trees in the park from several years earlier. As I said, we really got to see the sunset and see what it did to the train and to the valley and to the, the beauty of the mirrored images in the puddles of water from the earlier rains. And just watching the desert change minute by minute, moment by moment as the sunset. The sky was also just brilliant in the colors that it was displaying and how it shone off the different rocks. Absolutely stunning. After we left there, we went to go scout out different areas like Hidden Valley and other areas so we could do our nighttime photography and light painting. We ended up going back to the Echo T parking lot. There was nobody there and it made it super ideal in terms of the terrain in order to see the night sky for my husband to take pictures of the stars and the Joshua trees in the foreground and for me to do my light painting. Just check out how beautiful the night sky was. We didn't see the Milky Way as much as we thought we were going to see it, but it was just stunning to see so many stars in the sky. I personally don't like being cold 
and I don't like just sitting around, so I needed to find something to do while my husband does his nighttime photography, so I learned about light painting from the Joshua Tree National Park website. So I investigated it, and it is fascinating. What you're seeing here is the work that I did in the parking lot, just having fun with the little bits and bobs that I had around the house of things that I could figure out how to work with, with Christmas lights and flashlights and small finger lights and Christmas lights all across the area. It was just absolutely so much fun to go through. And I'm not great at it. This is literally my first effort. We're going to go light painting again now that it's warmed up a little, and you'll see more videos on that later. But we loved Joshua Tree. We spent a couple of hours having fun with photography, had no more problems with rain, and at about 11, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock at night, headed out of the park, heading towards the west, and stayed at our hotel to end. I'm so glad you were able to join me, the Smart Joyful Traveler. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. And I would love to hear your comments below on everything that you've seen. Thank you.